This is one of the most important and neglected muscles of the entire body. This muscle is called the subclavius muscle. What I really want you to see in this video is that the subclavius muscle attaches into the first rib. People come in all the time complaining of issues with thoracic outlet syndrome, which is where nerves, arteries, and veins are compressed in the area between the first rib and the clavicle or collarbone. The right side of our body in our right chest, anterior chest wall is where we tend to see more compression. And so we tend to see more problems with things like thoracic outlet syndrome. So something that we do is a hands-on technique to allow for that muscle to open up, elongate a little bit so that you could get better airflow into that chest wall. You can actually do this activity even with a tennis ball and a wall or a tennis ball and the ground. You would just put your tennis ball right underneath your clavicle, jam it in there and kind of breathe, getting some airflow there while you're kind of separating that muscle. Although manual techniques for this muscle are really powerful, we really have to look at the entire system because when we see this, we know that there's more going on. It's not just a right chest wall that's compressed. It's also a left hip that's coming forward or a right rib cage that's compressed. We always need to look at the body holistically from the foot to the pelvis, to the rib cage, to the cranium. But sometimes we do need to give certain areas of our body a little bit of love so that they can unlock some new movements for us.